I'm most welcome dear friends inside this lecture we are going to discuss how we can create image slider using HTML CSS plus JavaScript so without wasting the time uh, we are just going to start coding we are using notepad plus plus as a code editor so insert the basic structure of HTML doc type HTML so you can just save this file from here on the desktop inside the image slider by giving the name index dot html save and html start we have head tag head start head close then title javascript image slider after that you can just open here a uh, body tag and here we need a style tag also style tag open and close so this is the very basic structure of html that we have inserted now we are going to insert a div and a class and a name for this class something like slider now you can just copy this control c paste inside style tag dot slider and the width of your slider I'm just using here 80% and height can be something like 700 pixel for right now and the margin for this should be 0 and auto and this just save this inside this div first we are going to insert a heading to take for example Java script image slider project then after this we need uh, hr hr is called horizontally row use ctrl s to save or command plus s if you are using mac go to run menu and launch in chrome so we have used here i am just going to explain the width 80 percent because i want 10 percent space from the left and 10% space from the right and this just 80% of width and we have just here a title first we are going to use some CSS to give a background color for this text align center and text color so inside slider we have heading 2 dot slider then heading 2 so the first thing background color can be black and the text color white the text align center very easy control s and fresh so this just for the title now after this hr i'm just going to insert image so before just inserting this the folder image slider inside this i have just these images so i'm just going to use them as a image slider images so insert the image tag then source equal sign double quotation close image one dot jpg control s i refresh so this is the default width for the image we are going to use id here because we are going to use some css for this image so first image i'm just giving the name copy this name control c dot control v first image open curly braces the width of this image should be 100 percent because this image is inside this div is called slider div if you are going to give a hundred percent of width so this will be fixed here with this slider width and the height I'm going to use the height something like 600 pixel save and refresh so with 100% and height 600% no problem we are going to just use this one control C and you can just paste instead of this 
dot slider then we have img uh, simply you can just remove this save and refresh now we can see the width is fixed with the slider and 600 pixel height so we have just uh, done with html and css now we are going to start some code inside javascript after this diff you can just open and close script tag and a variable this is just called images is equal to uh, something like this you can just use here just press shift alt and the down arrow key to select all of this then open double quotation or single quotation I'm just writing one dot jpg here and you can just use a comma also here so this one is two dot jpg three four five six seven eight two more time just add this number nine this number ten so for the last one you don't need to use a comma and after this outside of this bracket you can just come here and another variable i is equal to zero then a function so we have just studied all these basic things inside the course like function like loops like how we can create a variable so we are not going to just discuss on all of this function and a name for the function slide round bracket and a curly braces inside this document dot get element by id very easy and we are going to just get this element you need to just use id here as i used before first image so we need this here select ctrl c and paste here first image dot source for other images is equal to the images here we are going to get all the other images from here from the images and through this loop after this if condition i is less than images dot ng dot length and minus one so here i plus plus else i is equal to zero then outside of this curly braces we are going to use set interval i n t r v a l round bracket and you can just use a comma here the name of your function control c inside the first parameter and the time for your slide 1000 millisecond is equal to one second 2000 millisecond is equal to two second so i have just used here 1000 millisecond it means one second time for this save now come here and refresh so let's check it is working or not so jp so you can just write here jpg no problem this kind of thing is just happening here so this no meter save once again and refresh so you can see it is just working after one second perfectly now i'm just going to explain the code for you so what we have done here so we have just created a div and the width for this div is 80 percent the height we have just put 700 pixel and margin zero auto to take this in center totally in center after that we have uh, a heading two with the black background text color white text align center so you can see it is here and dot slider image which should be 100 percent and height 600 pixel so the width is just fixed inside this and the height for images we used 600 pixel and inside javascript we have a variable this is called images and we have saved this inside 
a loop or you can say inside array set inside array we have stored 10 images type is jpg you can see we have stored inside array inside quotation so here we have just used a loop variable i is equal to 0 so it will just start from 0 so here we have just start source we have get all the images from the array inside array through the loop you can see we have used i here so get all the images from the array using loop if i is less than images so images length is 10 so it will the slide will start counting from 1 and it will be end till the tent so the length of this array or images is 10th dot length then minus 1 just go from 10 to 1 i plus plus and then it means i'm just going to explain this for you uh, here for example here just one is equal to 10 it means it will work from 1 2 3 till 10 then after that 10 then again 1 like this we have just set here i plus plus if i is reached on 10 so in else we have set i is equal to 0 again it will start sliding from 0 so this is just a very simple process for this and this is the code you can just save this come here and refresh so after one second it will just work if you want to change the time you can just use here two second control s refresh so it will work after two second now you can see this two second so if you want to just decrease the time you can just give half second control s and refresh now you can see it will work in half second yes friends this just a uh, simple image slider project that we have created inside javascript and we have used html and css also i hope you like this project and you will just get the coding from the resources section thank you have a nice time